yeah good it's successful yeah i am surprised this whole thing is successful and uh, so we guys are uh, simultaneously simultaneously um, live on to on to youtube and i think dr shilpa we can have a small one minute introduction and then just start because this is a session purely dedicated to low dose hcg and nothing else beyond low dose hcg so after people listen to this session any doubt which you guys have i am going to answer on whatsapp uh, by the end of the day so uh, so shilpa madam you can have a small one minute introduction and then we can start okay yeah uh, so uh, i introduce it's my proud privilege to introduce dr jaymetha sir who is uh, an influencer entrepreneur and uh, a healthcare uh, expert he ex his expertise is mostly in uh, advanced laparoscopies and uh, infertility he does huge numbers uh, in iui and uh, ivf cycles and most important is uh, he is a great human being who is selflessly teaching everyone across india and uh, probably across the globe of whatever he has learned and mostly it is self trained and uh, by doing uh, mistakes by himself so i it's my uh, proud privilege to welcome uh, dr jay mehta to this uh, session which will be only for 15 minutes as he said and we will try to only keep it for the hcg protocol and not go into any other uh, topics as of now i see kiran sir kiran sir hi yeah yeah right so uh, guys before i start this session uh, see I, i used to do this session i mean i used to do a low dose hcg protocol approximately five and a half to six years back i had started using it it is not unique it is mentioned in our textbook and that time i used to make some mistakes as far as concentration of hcg is concerned and administration of hcg is concerned okay at that point in time i was very upset and i had given up on the low dose hcg protocol until very recently we started our educational activities in gujarat and there uh, i must acknowledge this guy i i i don't even know if he's going to be on uh, if he's joining our session or not but he is a fabulous human being his name is dr paresh patel and he is practicing in a town called disa in gujarat okay so i must acknowledge this uh, great guy i i am many which was a very shameless guy so i had called him up and i had asked him my doubts that you know this is what my mistakes are and this is what my problems are and if you can help me out uh, you know i'll be really obliged because as a fertility consultant i do get to see and treat a lot of patients who are not very affordable okay and this guy uh, dr paresh patel he was so upfront he was so honest he helped me and because of him okay purely because of that one guy i don't know if i will ever see him if i will ever meet him i don't even know that but because of that one guy Uh, we have achieved more than 39 pregnancies in the last five and a half months using low dose hcg protocol something which we were doing before and something which we had given up so i had written down in the message in the morning that i had learned it i had unlearned it and then i have relearned it so if anybody ever happens to meet dr paresh um, tell him that jai really loves him and uh, you know uh, jai has invited dr paresh bhai for a big dokla Uh, in my house in 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 bombay right uh, so going back i will start sharing the screen with permission and this is a this is a whiteboard which i am sharing with permission okay uh, so i guess all of you can see the whiteboard uh, shilpa madam yes i think yes. it is visible yes. okay fine so so what we are going to try and talk about today is basically uh, purely on on the low dose okay so let me just go on to my pen and uh yeah one minute okay okay so i think it is visible uh, the low dose uh, hcg is uh, now visible on to the screen right yes yes so fine fine so now uh, guys uh, it's it's important for people to uh, really understand this basic thing okay see hcg is basically what what is hcg hcg is your surrogate for lh all right and remember one bad thing about this hcg which is a common mistake which we make which we make 
the bad thing is this hcg stays inside the system for a long period of time okay so that is something which we forget when we are giving uh, when we are giving hcg to anyone okay it it stays longer okay just remember this thing because this is going to form the basis of the mistakes which we make and this is going to form the basis of how do we correct it okay so in a normal situation what is going to happen is let's say day 2 3 4 of your cycle all right and in day 2 3 4 of your cycle you are going to be calling the patient for a routine antral follicle count scan okay now i normally use this for patients who have low amh but don't have the money to do ivf and their antral follicle count is less than 4 this is where i typically use this protocol uh, if you speak to paresh bhai from gujarat he is also using this in patients of severe pcos where there is poor response to recombinant fsh he is also using it in patients who have poor response to traditional hmg in patients with severe pcos but then of course you can use it i don't use it at this point in time okay but i am just sharing what he is also doing fine now on this thing you are going to have these small antral follicles the rule is very simple at this stage you are supposed to give letrozole okay either 2.5 or 5 based on whatever is the weight of the patient you can give an add back of hmg if you want to give or if you don't want to give that is okay you can make it 150 225 300 whatever you have decided okay and normally after approximately 5 days of doing this you are going to call the patient on the 6th day so not all patients will be on the 5th day of doing this there are going to be some patients who are going to need 7 to 8 days also so please keep that in mind this is something which you are supposed to monitor this is something which you are supposed to do based on your follicle monitoring so i am not going to make a blanket rule of 5 days we can keep it 5 to 8 days okay of your traditional letrozole plus hmg once you give you call a patient for an ultrasound and you should be able to see one to two follicles okay normally you will see two or more but you you should be able to see these two or you know one to two follicles which have got 11 to 12 mm in size 11 to 12 mm in size okay the biggest mistake i did before was i used to give an hcg when the follicles were even 10 mm or below and that was a mistake it will cause apoptosis of the follicles which i used to do before after i spoke and i corrected my mistakes i realized that no at 11 to 12 mm now when you give an hcg this is your low dose hcg which you are to now give so what are you going to do you are going to give the patient approximately 150 to 200 international units of low dose hcg you can add an antagonist with it okay you may or you may not now you may or may not continue hmg it is your choice it is completely your choice it is absolutely okay to not continue hmg absolutely okay i never continue hmg it is absolutely okay to discontinue letrozole i never continue letrozole with this when i give low dose hcg i just give pure low dose hcg but yes you can combine letrozole and low dose hcg as well there is no problem okay this is typically to be administered along with antagonists for approximately 3 to maximum of 4 days and when the patient comes back to you after that you are going to see a beautiful follicle around 18 mm in size you will see two such follicles lovely follicles when you have this 17 to 18 mm with the low dose hcg you can bindas trigger the patient with 10000 hcg okay this is my standard trigger following which the patient will go in for iui or the patient will go in for ivf whatever you have decided for the patient whatever you have decided when you are attempting these type of protocols and especially patient is trying for naturally and has low amh please ensure that the husband parameters are absolutely normal that is important if you are trying naturally for the patient please ensure that the fallopian tubes are normal should you require to do any corrective surgery for the fallopian tubes please do it because majority of these patients with these type of protocols are going to be able to conceive naturally okay should you be doing it in the right manner a lot of times people have said that no we don't want to use 200 international units we want to use 500 international units this was the single biggest mistake which i was doing in my life using a higher dose remember a higher dose is going to stay in the body for a longer period of time as far as hcg is concerned and it is going to cause something called as premature luteinization of that follicle okay you want to avoid your luteal surge no this is going to cause a premature luteinization and you are going to get very poor quality oocytes 
do not use a dosage more than 150 to 200 if you are using 500 and you have had a million patients who have become pregnant try switching to 150 200 and the number of patients who become pregnant will going to go up there is no doubt antagonist is your standard dose 0.25 whatever you are prescribing whatever brand you are giving is fine i am using ganirelic acetate people can use cetorelic acetate and that's also absolutely fine all right in this particular situation the most important rate li limiting step if i have to draw okay is this this is your rate limiting step and always correct this 11 to 12 millimeters 11 to 12 millimeters okay remember i have also tried using very recently this low dose hcg protocol in patients who are having an amh of less than 0 0.1 okay i have started using this as an experiment in these things okay and when you use this as an experiment in these particular things i have realized that these patients normally get just one to two good quality oocytes which is why i was writing that you will get good quality oocytes if there are oocytes i have the facility to easily monitor estradiol valerate in my hospital so i do estradiol valerate for all of these patients and even if you have given letrozole, the minute you give low dose HCG, you will have a good estradiol of close to 500, 600 in these patients. Huh? In only and only in this extreme low AMH patients, you can try it if you want to try. Remember, the total number of days you give low dose HCG, you can give antagonist also. And the next day night, you can give your 10,000 HCG. This 10,000 HCG would act as a beautiful trigger. And this trigger then gives rise to an excellent quality of oocyte. This is what you are going to observe when you do this entire procedure in this manner. Simultaneously, for the benefit of all of you, I have also shared with you uh, the protocol which I am using. I have also shared with you how we are reconstituting low dose HCG in the hospital premises. See, I have a cold room. You may or may not have the liberty to have a cold room in your hospital premises. If you don't have a cold room, then remember one thing, you are supposed to keep it in a good temperature control system. HCG is something which is extremely cost effective. Three days of stimulation, if you are giving just letrozole without HMG, you know, the cost of stimulation of this entire thing will be less than 1000 rupees. Believe me, okay, it will be less than 1000 rupees for low dose HCG. It is that cost effective and your outcomes are absolutely fantastic. Lot of times people will also complain that in this situation, is the endometrial thickness good? Guys, once try it for my sake. Once, just try it for my sake. And all of you will call me up and tell me that endometrium must tha. Okay, because this low dose HCG also has this add back effect on the endometrium. It allows this endometrium to develop beautifully. This low dose prevents all form of endometrial asynchrony also. Okay, the higher dose will have endometrial asynchrony. That was my mistake five years back. Okay, low dose does not have endometrial asynchrony. Keep that in mind. As a result of which your, uh, your endometrium and you know follicle balance is going to be extremely good. And their crosstalk between the endometrium and embryo, if the embryo develops, is going to be absolutely fantastic. Okay, again, before I conclude, I want to tell this. Uh, you know, I am somebody who is like more like a student in this and uh, I have I have really made mistakes in this protocol in the past. OK, and I have really learned this uh, by doing those mistakes. So I am I have openly shared my mistakes with you. Don't do those mistakes. You will end up having, uh, you know, poor follicles, which are sort of hemorrhagic from inside. So don't do those mistakes. Wait till this follicle goes till 18 millimeter. And once it goes till 18 millimeters, uh, you should give your trigger, whatever you want to do. OK, you want to do IUI, you want to do IVF, you can do that. OK, I hope everybody who has listened to this has enjoyed listening to this. I don't recommend doing a fresh ET when you are doing such type of cycles, just in case somebody uh, would keep it in mind about doing a fresh cycle. I don't really like to do fresh cycles in IVF with low dose HCG because uh, because I have the liberty to do frozen cycles for everything. OK, and uh, and I don't recommend a fresh cycle in this either. Any further questions you have, we are going to be posting the questions uh, and answering them on WhatsApp. Uh, no, I shall hope we, all of you have like Just take five minutes, please. Just five minutes. Yeah, okay. So you okay. can take the questions as a rapid fire. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, yeah, most of it you have answered. Only thing is like, is ANTAG compulsory? Or can we do away with that? It's with good to give. 
it's okay. it's good to give but it is not compulsory let me tell this it is good to give but it is not compulsory okay is uh, doing lh compulsory before starting hcg absolutely nothing Ab there is no such concept so i will answer about when to do lh in a separate session but there is look uh, i as a doctor must be doing the high i i import the lh kit to india which is used uh, on all vidas machines okay so uh, i probably consume it the highest as well okay and there is no role of routinely testing lh in such circumstances you want to test lh you test lh when you want to ensure if there is an lh surge which has happened when you are doing a natural cycle embryo transfer understanding apart from that there is no role in a stimulated cycle to test for lh absolutely can, no role yeah can it be used in dual stim it can be used in dual stim there is no problem but remember one big problem in dual stim when you are doing the second follicular stimulation in double stimulation the problem is going to be the follicle is already large in size okay yeah. so it is ideal to use is in the follicular phase stimulation and not in the luteal phase stimulation is what i think for practical purposes okay and uh, recombinant hcg can be used my patients can't afford it so <laughs> i don't use recombinant hcg for anything honestly i don't even have a single ovitril vial in my hospital since the last 7 years it's okay wow i have never used if you can uh, mark sarono is the guy who supplies ovitril and if you go through their records you will realize that i am their worst customer i have just used four four ovitril in my life after which i told them that this is nothing better than urinary hcg no problem and uh, our patients have become pregnant so there is no problem in that yeah okay. yeah yeah that's it thank you thank you yeah we can wind up okay thank any you. more questions uh, we will uh, we will be happy to answer more questions on whatsapp and thank you so much and guys before i conclude uh, i want to thank everyone no uh, the amount of messages and calls which i had got yesterday uh, was really heartwarming when my uh, when there was a complaint against me on youtube thank you so much and uh, i hope we are able to get all the data back and do justice so thank you so much and we'll